Hello everyone, welcome back to the Ignite series. So this is South Boston here. This time I managed to practice all week, so I'm very satisfied with my result. Let's go ahead and jump right into the race. Oh, and by the way, you can... I see there's a full send guy here just now. That's the 5 car. So this guy is part of full send apparently. That's... Either he is or I doubt that. It's probably just a paint scheme error. For some reason trading paints is having a lot of problems. So here in the race I'm starting as I qualified 7th. I was actually quite surprised that this race they didn't uh, wreck all that much. Usually there's a lot of noobs in Legends cars, but this time the people are actually pretty good. So here, this is just the couple first lap struggle of trying to settle in. I think about now we're all like pretty much in a good straight line. And the guys ahead of me were slow. They qualified good, but throughout the race they were kind of slow, so I was able to pass a couple of them. So here I'm going to go ahead and I got a good run down the inside. That guy must have messed up pretty bad for to allow me to do that. They managed to let me in the inside and I wasn't able to get a good enough run off this corner because he was still on my outside here and he still is right now. So that was one problem I had but I managed to get around him. He was pretty slow at the top. So I went ahead and slowly was catching to these guys. They weren't as slow as I was hoping so it took a while for me to catch back up. What really slowed them down was the red car and purple car there started uh, battling, and that slowed down the seven car. Of course, it slowed down them all, which allowed me to catch up to them. But the real problem was the seven car was so slow, but at the same time, he kept on blocking me all the time. So I couldn't ever really get on his inside. some contact there, wheel rubbing. So at this point in the race, you're pretty scared that they're gonna wreck, and of course they did. Now, unfortunately, there were guys behind me that were pushing me into them, even though I was locking up my brakes. But, I didn't really lose any positions, I just gained, gained two. So, now I think we were up to fifth. So, overall it was pretty good. The car didn't handle too terrible at this point. It did feel a little loose, but that was probably from the flat spots in the tire and the tire wear because of sliding. I mean heat because of sliding, so the tires kind of felt very slippery for these next couple laps, but it was manageable. Manageable, and the uh, my pace didn't really go that far down. Now this 4 car here is way slower than me on the exits, it seems. So I was able to catch up to him. I was, I'm was. i also not really sure. You guys can tell me. Do you use the brakes in this track? Because I really like to... When I use this... When I'm at this track, I noticed a lot of people just let off. But I tend to want to uh, break... Like trail break it through, the, through to the apex of the corner. And then right at that line, I'll get on the gas again. I don't know if that's normal, but... It, it seemed to be working out pretty good. Because I managed to catch up to everybody that was in front of me using this method. It's probably not that good on the tires, though. But this is only a 40 lap race, so that doesn't really matter. Anyway, so the 7 car, once again, was slowing everybody down and just constantly blocking, so this 4 car couldn't really get by. So I didn't really want to pass the 4 car and try and fight with the 7, because I knew he was going to probably wreck me. So my plan here was to let the 4 fight it out with the 7, and either they wreck out each other and hopefully I can get by, or the four car would manage to get through and I could follow him through. I 
At this point in the race, the tires are also very worn down, so it's hard to keep the car under control. So right here now, I'm trying to stay right as close to the 4 as I can, so that the 4 can get by and the 7 won't be able to slot back in. But the problem was, it seems that the, seven, the 4 car is not able to get a run on the 7 car because he needs to go up to the wall to get that speed, and so he has to let off. So after I realized that, I either have to go now around the 4 on the outside, which would probably work, or I have to manage to uh, get up to his bumper and stick my way in the inside, which I don't think would have happened. So I'm going to try and go around the outside now. Definitely opening it up there would get me closer. And on the exit here, I'm now at pretty close to his bumper. You definitely can open up the entries here and you can just see how much closer that gets me to the car. Seven car is blocking really bad, so that's also helping me get up to the four. And now I get a run on the outside, but the problem is I try getting on the gas, but I have to let off because my line wasn't good enough, and I would have hit the wall otherwise. And that lapped car crashed right in front of us. That kind of helped keep the seven car uh, behind too. And there, the 7 car kind of got squished because there was that uh, car on the inside that was stopped. So he, we couldn't make it too wide there. I think he was afraid of going 3 wide or something, so he kind of let me by. And then from here, I couldn't pass the 7 car because suddenly he got his pace up. And he was still blocking me still. This is the last lap. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this race. Finished 4th, qualified 7th. I think it went pretty good, and I didn't really have that bad of a pace either. So I'm really happy with how this race went. I, thanks for all of you guys who are watching. If you have any suggestions, I really want to know in the comments down below. I'll see you guys later.